Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode... Well, Reen ended up challenging the Divine... not the Divine, the Radiant Blade Master. He ended up challenging Viscount Arsate, who we ended up meeting in the uh, Guild Branch House, in the Bracer Guild. And, yeah, he ended up, up unleashing his inner demon again. And um, it was quite like it was a good chance for him to do that because he was up against an opponent stronger than even his, uh, than even that form of his, and uh, thus it was not, you know, he was not in danger of murdering anybody because he didn't have himself under control, so he was freely able to do that. And now he knows a little more about himself, and he knows a little better what what his old master Yun Ka find the old. Oh, uh, in the Eight Leaves One Blade School was trying to teach him. But you know, for today we have a couple of new tasks and I intend to uh, finish up with all of those. So it's also not foggy and we also ha are gonna have a little adventure at Lower Green Castle. But that is not until later. Let's first talk to everybody. It truly is a blessing to bask in Lady Laura's radiant presence today as well. My prayers to Ideos and the spirits didn't go unanswered after all. Hmm, the spirits truly do make dreams come true. The spirits truly do make dreams come true. These past two days have proven, th proven that. Have you all taken a gander at Lake Abel today? It really is quite a sight on clear days like these. We have a boat that customers can borrow here, so feel free to make use of it. Have you all taken a gander at Lake Evil? I'll probably make use of that. Do, 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 do. The weather's certainly nice today, but maybe I'll row out to the lake and see what I what I fish up and see what I fish up. It would be the first time in a while. The weather's certainly nice today. Maybe I'll row out to the, to the lake and see what I fish up. It'd be the first time in a while. Where's your boat? You talked about a boat. There's no boat. Think he was lying about his boat? I think so. I think he was lying. What about your customer that you mentioned yesterday? Hmm. Couldn't have been our cat lady. Or could it? I cannot believe this! Not one, but two, but not two, but three men have turned Lady Laura's manor into their beastly den! You can't possibly let this stand! Get them to stay over at the inn instead! That wouldn't be much of a warm welcome, would it? Besides, we have plenty to discuss regarding our field study, so having them stay with me at the manor is ideal. This is why I keep worrying about your safety! Ah! I most certainly hope you all keep your filthy paws to yourself! Sheesh, I don't think I've ever met someone with this little faith in my basic impulse control. <laughs> basic impulse control, aha. Uh -huh. You ran it again? The Arsade School is known throughout the Empire for its first-rate instruction in the way of the sword. As a student of, of such an esteemed school, I need to keep striving to better myself as well, uh, uh, as well, to live up to that honor. You can bet I'm going to apply everything I learned from our battle to my training to remedy at my every lack. Ha! Ha! Yeah! Whoa! I'm not gonna go down so easily next time! I woke up this morning, got dressed, and came here to train just like always. And just for a moment, it felt like some, uh, like the air in this room was charged somehow. I'm not sure what it was, but the atmosphere here seemed different from how it usually is. I uh, wonder what it could be. Hmm. Perhaps the intensity of last night's battle is still lingering in the air here. Sure seems that way. A, students, a student of the Arsade School's day begins with training right here in this hall. I can't afford to slack off, especially after lo losing yesterday. I'm well aware that I've still got a long way to go, but luckily that's a shortcoming I can do something about by pouring even more effort into my training. 
Ah, oh, for some reason I seem to have way more energy than usual this morning. I suppose yesterday's battle must have ignited my fighting spirit. I'll p have to pour even more effort into my training than usual today. You may have gotten the better of us, but I only wish I always felt as alive as I did during that battle. I'll have to pour even more into my training than usual today. We're all overjoyed that the Master has returned. Now's our chance to show him how much we've improved during his absence. <laughs> I might have pulled myself out of bed to train, but I'm still bursting with energy. I imagine learning so much from you and your classmates also has something to do with it. <laughs> I might have pulled myself out of, the, out of bed to train, but I'm still bursting with energy. Let's go up to the manor. Huh. I heard about your duel with Lord Arsaid. I'm rather amazed that you'd even make such a request of him. Lady Laura has never managed to defeat him, even when she attacked him in his sleep. Wow, now I'm trying to come to grips with the idea that Laura would actually attack someone while they're sleeping. I, I was a child! <laughs> That's quite the heartwarming family tale. Honestly, I'm amazed Lord Arsaid accepted your request for a duel. He must have seen a lot of potential within you. I heard all about your duel with Lord Arsaid last night. I'm impressed. It takes real guts to square off against someone who has surpassed the bounds of human strength. He's as fierce as a dragon once he draws his sword, but you're no slouch yourself as a practitioner of the Eight Leaves. The duel must have been t intense. I oh, hope only I'd been there to see it. Ha <laughs> ha Well, at least no one seems to know how badly you got whooped. Your duel last night must have been intense. If only I'd been there to see it. I'm impressed. I'm pleased to see that the fog has cleared nicely today. You couldn't ask for better weather during your field study. The tasks you've been given represent the day-to-day -day concerns of Legrand citizens. As their ruling lord, I treasure each and every one of them. I ask that you take the, take the time to listen, to get to know them, and to help them. Th that's, what th that's what we'll do. We'll do our utmost, father. That the tasks you've been given represent the day-to-day -day concerns of Legram citizens. I ask that you take the time to listen, to get to know them, and to be able to help. Today will be your last day here, will it not? I wish you good luck with what remains then. Do try to not overexert yourself, Masterine. <laughs> Thanks, Klaus. I actually don't feel all that sore, though. I guess he did hold back against me after all. Today will be your last day here, will it not? I wish you good luck with what remains, then don't overexert yourself. No one outside. Freely is a nice lake. Incredibly beautiful. I definitely go on holidays here, like a long time. Yikes. Really good. All right. Side quest, sir. Logren Castle used to be the stronghold of the Lance Maiden and her Eisenritter way back during the War of the Lions. I probably shouldn't have told the kids here about that, though. Now they keep pestering me to tell them more. The kids really love the tales about St. Sandla, don't they? I hear boys and girls both say, uh, both saying they want to, want to be like her. I think I've exhausted my supply of St. Sandla stories to tell the kids. Could you do me a favor and come up with, with some new material? Otherwise they'll never stop pestering me. Oh, hello, everyone. Good day, Sister Theramis. Have you grown accustomed to Legram while I was away? 
I have. Everyone's been so kind. The only thing I just can't get used to is Father Hamilcar's lackadaisical approach to his work. Lackadaisical, aha. Uh huh, huh that's understandable. He has his good points, though. Really? I've yet to see him act like a responsible adult even once. We probably shouldn't be gossiping about this, though. I assume you all came along because of my request, right? That's right. We'd like you to tell us a little more about it. The request mentioned that you plan on making an offering. That's correct. I'll need a number of items in order to make it. And I'd like you to collect them for me if you're capable. Or if you're able, which is a difference. Do you have the time to take this on for me? I mean, I understand if you don't. Of course. Sure, we'll fit you in. Thank you very much. Allow me to tell you all about what you need to know. If, as La Lady Laura knows, it's a custom here in Le Grand to hold a memorial service for St. Sandlot and the Eisenritter each year. The period in which this service is held is coming up rather soon, too. That sounds like kind of a downer. Well, it's not supposed to have a lively uh, to be a lively event. The memorial serving uh, the memorial service is held to mourn the brave soldiers who gave their lives during the War of the Lions. Will the church be leave, uh, leading the service? The people here seem to have a strong belief in animism, so I wouldn't have expected that to be the case. Not quite. The church is d just assisting with it. Animism has much deeper roots than the church here, so it's only natural that we rep respect that. Legram seems to be similar to Nord in that regard. Yeah, animism just as wi uh, as animism is just as widely believed over there as it is here. And yet, despite that, both communities believe in the church's teachings as well. Well, the church has never once denied the existence of spirits, after all. In my opinion, that's one of the reasons its teachings have spread across the continent like they have. I guess Ideos has a big enough heart for everyone, huh? <laughs> Quite right. Getting back on topic, though. I've actually been asked to prepare an offering for the memorial service myself. Oh. Will this be your first time doing so? It will. Because of that, I'd like to practice a little before the service itself. That's why I'd like you all, I'd like to ask you all to collect the ingredients I need for it. And, ah, so that's how it is. What exactly will you be making? I'm going to be making pretzels. Huh? Th those are the bready things that look like they're all twisted into a knot, right? That's right. However, the pretzels used for the memorial service m are made to look like the spirit monument here in town. I assume you're talking about that unique looking monument in the center of the town? The very same. The pretzels here are generally baked to be rather hard so they'll last longer. It's even said that the Eisenritter carried them onto the battlefield in their combat rations. I suppose that explains why you're giving pretzels as an offering then? That's quite a fascinating historical tid tidbit. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mind a chance to see Arabonia's most time-honored pretzels. What ingredients do you need us to get then? Ah, yes, I almost forgot. I need you to collect five hardy powders, five clear gelatins, and a type of se seasoning called white seed. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to beat up the, some monsters for that stuff, but what is, what is this white seed? They seem to be a, a, one of Legram's local crops, according to Father Hamilcar. Unfortunately, they're not really in season right now, so none of the stores have ha ha have any. Well, I think that part of uh, that that part should be simple enough. Fortunately, our household uh, our household he uh, household's head chef should have some uh, should have some on hand. Oh, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Right then, let's start our gathering. Where should we make our way to first, Laura's home or the highway? I'm fine with either. We'll have to go to both eventually anyway. An offering to the departed started. Thank you for making taking on my request, everyone. Did you need a little reminder about what I need you to bring? I need five hardy powers, five clear gelatins, and some white seed. Head chef. Let's head to the head chef. <sighs> Hello, Lady Laura. There's something you need from me. There's a request I'd like to make. I'd like to make a few, if I may. Would you happen to have any white seed on hand? Of course. Why? It'd be crazy for me not to have some on hand. I've got it stored away and I always make sure we never run out. How much do you need? I can give you the entire crate if you want. Well, I don't think we need quite that much. Well then, I suppose a small bag full should do the trick. 
White Seed. My thanks. Anything for you, Lady Laura. All the people here really love her, don't they? <laughs> I'll see. I'm happy to have been of help to you, Lady Laura. Feel free to ask if you need anything else. Recipe. Give me a recipe. Do do do. All right, all done. Give me one of those pretzels. Hello, everyone. Have you managed to gather the ingredients I need? We sure have. Have you? Hey, here you go. Five hearty powders, five clear gelatins, and white seed. Oh, and here's the white seed you wanted. Thank you so much. This should be plenty. Could you wait to, uh, in the adjoining room while I mix up a trial batch then? Sister Theramis made her pretzels and handed out a sample to everyone. H how do they taste? I'm a little surprised, to be honest. In a good way, I mean. Indeed, these are actually better than I was expecting. Tasty and filling and free! Thinking that the Eisenritter may have eaten something like this to keep on fighting is kind of mo moving, really. It really is. Thank, thank goodness. Um, what do you think of them, Lady Laura? Oh, my apologies. I was so engrossed in the taste that I forgot to speak up. They're delicious. If I hadn't seen you make them, I'd swear they came from the kitchen of a professional chef like Joseph. Thank you for giving me the chance to try them. Whew. Hey, Laura. Hmm? There's still, there's still some time before the memorial service, but how about we offer some of these at St. Sandlot's dad, you know? Hmm, I'd like that. After all, there's no limit on, why, on when you can leave an offering. Would you mind if we took some along then, sister? Huh, not at all. It would be rude of us to in indulge in all these on our own, after all. Please, go on and take some. The grand pretzel. Hmm, <laughs> let's be on our way then. Now I've got pretzel power! Yay! Pretzel power. I'm glad the cooking went well. Huh, I owe you my thanks. Alright, let's give our... Let's give our little martyr our offering. One. There we go. I'm sure this put this will put a smile on her face. Now all that's left is for us to pray. Are there any special requirements for prayers of this sort? Not particularly. But it is the custom to remain quiet while prayers are being offered. Whoop whoop! Let's get our praying done then. Ah! Uh, I was focusing so hard on being quiet, I ended up and ended up holding my breath. Huh? Are you guys still going? It was a valiant battle to remain silent for even a single minute, but alas, victory remained elusive. <laughs> Don't be too harsh on her. Well then, shall we make our way back to the chapel? Yeah, we should report back to Sister Theramis, just in case. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. I feel bad about having you run all around town just for my sake. No worries, we're always glad to lend a hand. Yeah, never done a job where pretzels were a fringe benefit, but it was worth it. They really were delicious. If the batch you may make for the memorial service turns out that good, you have nothing to worry about. I'll do everything I can to make sure that's the case. Oh, I've yet to offer you all your award for helping me. It's not much, but please take these. Celestial Bomb X, cool. Thank you so very much. We'll be sure to put them to good use. There's one down at least. Yeah, let's move right to the uh, li right into the other one. An offering to the departed completed. Wait a second, doctor. Don't be a moron. I really cannot thank you all enough for your help. Now I need to uh, need to worry about how things will go at the end of the memorial service on the day of the mem memorial service. Good morning, everyone. The fog's cleared up, and Lord Arsaid has returned to the days. To, so the day's looking pretty good, right from the outset. 
I wish you all good luck with your field study today. I'm almost always amazed at just how energetic my father still is. He was uh, uh, he was up during self-defense training before dawn today again. He really is unbelievable. Maybe I should take a lesson or two from him. Good morning, everyone. I hear all about how you managed to best Klaus himself yesterday. I wish you the best of luck with your field study today. Hearing about your achievements has me feeling downright pleased. <laughs> I wish you all an extra helping of luck today as well. Woof woof. Woof woof. How do you like cats, by the way, Mr. Dogmans? Where's Kerno? Carno? Huh. I really do owe Toval a lot for all his help. Especially since whenever I ask Carno, he just takes off before I'm done talking to go play with Julian. And Toval always goes on about how helping out a beautiful lady like me could hardly even be considered work too. When he puts it like that, I'd be missing a golden opportunity if I didn't ask him to give me a hand now and again. I really do owe Toval a lot for all his help. It makes it may not be much, but I always make sure to share some cheese and milk with him. Julian's really done it this time. Not helping me out is one thing, but messing around like that just doesn't fly. Naturally, I came down on him like a ton of bricks. I want him to take up the family business, but it seems like it'll it'll be quite a while before that happens. I want Julian to take up the family business someday. It seems like it'll be quite a while before that happens, though. I have, I've had to listen to Father shouting all day thanks to Julian. If only he'd just grow up already. I fear for his future at this rate. Oh, I've had to listen to Father's preaching all day. There's a fair number of mo monuments to the spirits here in Legram. Well into the tens, in fact. And each of them has its accompanying m myths and legends as well. They say that these stories passed down for so many generations tell of things that are inspired in ancient times. There's a fair number of monuments to the spirits here in Legram. No. Only two people. Ouch, Dad really walloped me. Why'd he have to flip out like that? All I did was borrow his cards. You know, we prob we should probably just ditch that idea anyway. It did look pretty dumb. Man, that's what I was thinking too. You've got to tell me these things sooner so I don't look dumb doing it. Well, well we gotta go take a good look at it first. Then the Junior Eisenritter can take center stage. I told you, first we've got to find a good base. And there's only one place I can think of that uh, th that has it all. I did talk to uh, old man, old fisherman there. He was talking about going out on the boat to fish. So we are done in Legram. There's no need for us to board the train right now. All right then. Cool beans. So that's done. Oh, all of the fog on the highway has dissipated as well. Yeah, it's so much easier to see all the surrounding areas now. Totally! I could hardly see my hand in front of my face yesterday. Well, at least we don't have to worry about getting lost today. We may find alternate routes th through the area that we missed yesterday too. It's very likely. We should keep an eye out for those while we are looking for the beast we need to slay. Hint, hint. Well, for the moment, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, toodles!